Yeah, I'll have a decaf, extra skinny mocha chocolate, please. My waist will be smaller to accentuate my double Ds. You see, that's the only part of me that's allowed to be big. Or the press would have a field day and call me a pig. They papped me on holiday, lying in the sun, then proclaimed to the world, look at her bum. In a terrible state, I rushed to the gym, pleading to my trainer, please make me thin. The next two weeks, I was worked to the bone. My arse, thighs and abs ordered to tone. My dairy became soya, my steak became fish. The pounds were dropping off. I was getting my wish. I grabbed my trainer and said, you're my hero. I've dropped three dress sizes. I'm now a size zero. On top of the world, I attended a premiere, expecting the press to say, wow, what a derriere. Instead, they didn't. And this is what I read. She looks like a rake with a lollipop head. Shocked and confused? What the hell do they want? I thought I'd be praised for looking skinny and gaunt. What? I get slagged for being fat and for being thin. Well, I give up. I don't know how to win. Now young girls are starving to look like me, viewing my airbrushed pictures. If only they could see that I have blemishes just like them. Now if they could see that, well, maybe then. Things could change and we'd be allowed to be free. No dangerous diets. We could just be whatever size we naturally are. Admired from close up and from afar. They say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. We should believe this and stop looking over our shoulder. At who is thinner, prettier, and whose bones stick out most. It's time to take a stand. I don't want to be a ghost. When will we be happy with what we see in the mirror? We are beautiful. Let's stop getting thinner and thinner. You know what? Forget what I ordered. For goodness sake. I'll have a full fat latte and a carrot cake. A healthy balanced diet with a few treats thrown in. That's the way to go. That's the way to win. So what if I have a few dimples on my thighs? It's about time the magazines stop telling lies. I'm taking a stand and being happy, not just thin. It's time to be content with the skin that I'm in.